Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So in our previous video, we learned how to handle different types of input field um, using Playwright. And also I gave you one assignment. I hope you have completed that. Today we are going to learn how to handle different types of dropdown using Playwright. And there are quite a few methods like select by value, index, text, and uh, we can print all the options. Even we can find the length of the options. Okay. Um, in Selenium, we have a lot of functions in select class, but in Playwright, it's limited. But of course, we can achieve most of the things here as well. Okay. So let me give you an example. Before that, let us read the documentation. It's going to be very simple, actually. So first thing, you have to remember that if the element that we are going to handle is not inside the select tag, that means it's not a drop down. And if it's not a drop down, then playwright will throw us an error. Okay. And of course, we can select the options by using value. Value has the like higher precedence comparing to the set label, which is used to find by the visible text and the index. Okay. And after that, we have quite a few options like we can set like uh, set force, set no wait after, and set timeout and set state. Okay. I will talk about the strict more in detail. Uh, it is part of your uh, locator as well. But for example, like uh, it should be always like only one unique value should be in the DOM. That is what set strict is all about. Okay. Set force in the sense like uh, we know that in Playwright before performing any of the actions, it basically check few of the actionability. For example. If you click on this actionability, you can see like the auto waiting features. Like it will check like whether it is attached, it is visible, it is stable, it has some events, enable, disable, like that. Okay. Um, if you want to skip all the actions and just you want to do the uh, select top select, select, then you can use the set force. Okay. And timeout in the sense like um, the default timeout in Playwright is thirty seconds, but if you want to go beyond that probably you can set the timeout or also you can minimize the timeout and set no wait after in the sense like whenever there is a page load completion it will try to interact but if you want to skip that and you want to do something then probably you can use that which i think it's not necessary for us okay so that's it let's go to the coding part so as usual i will use my uh, website for the assignment i will give you another website okay so first of all i'm going to copy the url and of course before that we have to write the class and the package so here we'll create a package called day four and we'll create a class called loan drop down with main method and before passing the url of course we have to um, Get the instance for the playwright so let's call that so playwright dot create which is going to return me the playwright instance uh, reference okay now here uh, of course we want to run in the head mode so what i'll do i'll just simply say like new uh, browser type dot launch option dot set headless and the false okay so this will return me the uh, launch options of headless okay now what we are going to do we are going to um, launch the chromium browser right so here i can say like playwright dot chromium dot launch and within this i can pass my headless subject and then i can say like new page which will return me the browser the page from page yeah the names are a little weird here but not weird actually i got used to his page 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 always because you know typescript we don't have to do all this stuff everything is like out of the box okay so coming back to the topic so here we'll say like page dot navigate and we'll pass our url which is this one okay now as i said like if the drop down is not under the select tag that means like if you go to any of the bootstrap or modern css drop down uh, it will look like a drop down but not a drop down so it is like uh, decent with the css okay so here it's a proper actual drop down so you can see the select tag 
and then we have this attribute and value and we have a lot of options that means of course it's a select okay so i'm going to select the css which is like hashtag not hashtag hash roots okay so first of all we'll find the locators and there are two ways to uh handle the drop down first one is like we can directly say like page of page dot select option and i can pass my locator and then followed by i can pass my value okay so here the option has value of like 0 1 2 3 4 4 so we'll go with let's say that 3 that means it's going to select the banana okay so this is one way okay if i go and run this before that uh, just to save some memory i'll just use like the dot sleep and i will show you the outcome and probably i will just close my browser so that i can save some memory okay so let me go and run this now let's see what happens so yeah so here you can see like we got the banana okay so after five seconds the browser is going to close and you can see the program also got terminated by this way we can save some memory or else if we don't close it will just stay in our ram which will make the system slow okay of course if you restart it will go but as i'm recording the video it will consume more of my ram okay yeah fine so this one way another way is basically like we have to find the locator so here uh we'll just give the same like fruits let me comment this and this is going to give me the locator okay so locator in the sense like in selenium we'll call it like uh, web element in playwright we call it like element handle okay so here i'm going to name it like fruits dd maybe and then i'm going to say like fruits dd dot select option and here you can select we have a lot of functions everything is like method overloaded i will tell you so max we are going to make use of it okay so select option and then followed by i can just simply pass the value for example if i pass like one so here we have like mango in the one okay so let's say that we are going to select the apple or something else then here you can see like we are getting some confirmation so i'm just going to inspect this guy and here we have a like p dot subtitle i'm going to copy this and again i'm going to say like page dot locator the locator dot text content is the function to retrieve the text okay so this will return me the text it is similar to your get text in selenium this text content function is get text okay so i'm going to sys out that let's see what we will get let me run this one more time i'm using control f11 so just keeps on running okay so here you can select like we have you have selected mango we got the same and here also we got the same output okay i'm just going to change the time from 5 to 3 because it's taking much yeah okay now select option so by default it gives preference to the value so it will be selected by the value but in sometimes in few cases there might be a drop down where we don't have the uh, value so we can go with another options like set label or the set index set index in the sense like of course you know based on the position set label in the sense like this white color text um, like from the options like opening of the option and closing of the options whatever the text we see that's going to be reflected in the ui as well so that is what like label in selenium we call it like visible text in playwright it's a label okay but concept is more of same so here i'm going to say like fruits dot uh, select option and then i can say uh, not directly so it will take the value so here i have to say like new select option dot set you can see we have functions like index label and the value as well the value is like your previous line number 20 same so i'll skip that here i'm going to go with the label and i'm going to say like maybe like apple let's go and run this now okay 
okay so we got it and that's it pretty cool right so similarly if you want to do something like with index you can just do that it's very simple let me copy paste and here i'm going to say like set index and i'm going to pass the index as maybe like four so if the index is wrong like you have only five values you are giving it like six then of course you will end up with an exception so here you can select the fourth one is actually the banana so we got the banana here so yeah it will select the apple first then it will go to the uh, this line so obviously we will able to see the last one okay so that's it this is the very basic concept of uh, handling the drop down okay now there are few other options as well so if you go to the page here you can say like we have options like we can set force so i'll just give you the snippet the code syntax so here we can say like new select options options then followed by the the, the dot and the compiler is not a happy for some reason yeah so here you can see like we are able to uh, get the options like set force and actually this class is from different package as well so we have to use it from like locator dot select options dot i mean select options options okay so if you are going to import from another thing it will be give you some compile time error okay so here we have like set force and then we have like set timeout set no wait after so all this we have okay so just in case if you want to use probably you can use i'll just leave it up to you there is no use case scenario i have to show you the demo but i hope you understand how to use it okay now let's go and take some scenario based that we have in our website so here we have like select your superheroes i can select multiple using the control click we can achieve the same in playwright as well so here um Yeah, so here we have like multiple that means if you have this multiple attribute within your select then of course we can do multiple selection okay so here we have like values as well as visible text set label basically if you want to select multiple then of course you have to go with the um, values we don't have option to select based on the index or the uh, label okay so first of all we will find the element handle so here i will say like id equal to this value and this is going to return me the web element element handle so let's name it like heroes and i can say like heroes dot select option and here i can just pass like new string of array and within the array i can just pass my values okay so by this way we can select multiple values at the same time so for example let's say that we want to select the avengers and then followed by let's say we want to select the black panther and maybe the ant man the small guy let's go and select this one okay so let's go and run this now let's see okay so here you can see ant-man avenger all the guys got selected okay so that's it very simple thing here now let's go to the next one so here select the last programming language and print all the options so here we have like javascript java python swift C -sharp. so we have to select this so how we will select the last one in the sense like of course based on the index right so here we have this id called language let's go and find that first so here i can say like page dot locator the id and this is going to return me the element handle of language drop down and then what i'm going to do of course i have to find the number of options available for example this is our element and within this we have multiple options which is also an element so how to find it again i will say like dot locator and then i'll say the option the 
tag of that particular element and this is going to again return me locators okay so i will name it like options and from there if i have to know the length here i have a function called count which will return me the length of the options okay so here i can say like this out length and i can give like count okay that's it very simple but with the help of this count we are going to also select the last value right so here i can say like language dd dot select option and here i have to say like new select option dot set index and it's going to be count minus one so of course index in the sense like it will be always minus one right so let's go and run this now let's see what happened this is also very same in uh, selenium but we have a direct functions like uh, something like get all selected options like that i guess so here you can select it selected this sheet up that means of course our code is correct and here the length is five okay that's it the next scenario we have like select index using value and print all the selected option print the selected option so we cannot print the selected options we can but that is like again calling the direct locator which is useless i guess and select using value we already we have discussed so yeah that's it okay just in case if you want to print or you want to assert all the options what you can do is you can simply use the options and from there you can use the function like all inner text that will turn a list of string so from there you can just do the asset or i will show you the print so here i can say like dot for each and this is the lambda expression if you don't know lambda that's absolutely fine you can just use your regular for each or for iterator and that should work okay and this not should be double in not equals this should be like single okay yeah i'm a javascript guy i will prefer to use the fact key the this one not this one okay anyways um yeah so if you go to the console you can see like we got all the things like just okay. so that's it we are pretty much done let me give you a quick recap if you want to select the value like the drop down based on the value you can go with like page dot select option or you find the element and then call the method called select option and value in the sense like directly you can pass it okay if you want to select by label or index then you have to use this class called select option and this guy this guy okay and we have few options here you can explore this i don't have a scenario to demonstrate this one okay and text content is basically to retrieve the text not a part of your drop down but uh yeah it's good to know okay and then we have this multiple if you want to select multiple of course you can use the new string array and you pass the multiple values within that if you want to print all the options value you have to find the drop down first from there you find all the options from there you use the function like all inner text that will return you a list of string you can just print and to find the length of options we have to use the method called count okay so that's it very simple now of course you got a assignment so it's very simple actually the same uh, thing if you have to go if you go to this particular website here we have like simple calculator just add some value and then we have this drop down do with multiple like you can select with value text index like you select the last option and you'll get click on the calculator you will get this print it out that's it very simple okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply uh see you in the next one very soon Ta bye bye take care hey i got something something to say i'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain i know it's tough and i know this pain but hitting bottom is the only way to change so I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling, bitch I'm humbling, keep mumbling, I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing, you've got nothing, I'll keep hustling.